I'm Peter Rivera. Oh, me too. Hi, I'm Ben Vereen. And I love StayBuddy.com. And you should too. Hey everyone, we are here today with John Lloyd Young. John, thank you for joining us. How are you? I, I'm very well, Jose. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. So you were just like blowing my mind by talking in Spanish, which... Estábamos hablando en español. Do you want to say hi to... Jose is de Honduras. Y yo viví en Venezuela justo antes de Chávez, te dije, ¿verdad? Right. So do you, did you learn by any chance any of the, you know, the Frankie Valley songs in Spanish? There really are, you know, I've actually done some reverse translations of English songs into Spanish, and I tried to do it with Four Seasons songs, because it was a game I was playing in concerts. I would take an old song that we know in English and translate it into Spanish and then sing it. Everyone would recognize the melody. Four Seasons songs are so impossible to translate. They're just hard. It's hard to find rhymes, and it's hard to find words in Spanish that line up. So I'll keep trying. Haven't done it yet. I remember when I was when I was a little kid in Honduras, and my grandmother used to sing, you know, the ghetto baby. Oh, did they have a translation? I didn't know. Once when I so when I lived in Venezuela, um, my host family, and this is years before Jersey Boys was even a glimmer in anyone's imagination, because um, it was back in the early '90s, and my host family uh, were big fans of uh, "I've Got You Under My Skin," his version of that which in English was a hit in Latin America, I guess. Right. Did you know that recording too when you were a kid? Mm, yeah, because my dad also loved him. So I grew up, you know, like I grew up with like the, uh, you know, no offense to anyone, but I grew up with like old person tastes with my music. You know, that's, I, it's not offensive. I was, my grandparents were the war era, so I was brought up with Sinatra. And you know, I think that, um, Let's, instead of calling them old person music, let's call it classic, classic music. Because <laughs> right. they don't go away, right? right? A classic sticks around. And those uh, Four Seasons songs are classics. Uh, Persigui Persiguiendo la Musica, mm. the title of the Jersey Boys movie, and was, uh, how do they say it in Mexico? Pego. <laughs> it was a big hit there in Mexico. I think, um, you know, I live in Southern California, and the doo-wop and all that is really popular with Mexican-Americans, um, uh, that sound. For some reason, it's just really uh, hits home. Maybe it's because it's highly emotional. It could be. I love you. Girls are showing and telling me. You were talking about, you know, trying to decipher and to decode the songs. So is that a process that you go through when you're putting together a show, like the one you're going to be doing here at 54 Below, for instance? Like, do you try to figure out a new way, a new spin to give to the songs that you already know and love so well? If the song is a fantastic arrangement and, um, and a, you know, an amazing song that has stood the test of time, then I don't always feel I want to play with it so much as I want to interpret it right now, it really well, right now, in the moment. So for example, well, Buck Ram, who sang Only You, he's no longer with us. So he's not around to sing that song. I would prefer, you know, as an audience member, to hear Only You sung to the letter magnificently. So that's what I try to do with a song like that, as I try to sing that famous arrangement as well as possible, um, and try to make it sound like maybe it's even, ideally, maybe it's even being sung for the first time now, and it's a 50-year-old song. Um, with other songs, I try to do a, an original spin, but this performance is going to be uh, the first time that I ever sing my my debut album, which came out a few years ago, but the first time ever seeing the album from start to finish live in New York. And our project on that album was to just very, very honestly, honoring the original, sing these great old songs um, 
as though they're happening, unfolding right in front of you. And so the answer to your question, the long, long-winded answer to your question is, not this time. <laughs> this time we're going to try to be as, uh, as true to the originals as possible. So I would love to hear people like over here dancing. Do you think that's going to happen? I like sad songs, so I'm, they might be slow dancing. So. Well, yeah. Now, some of them are exuberant. Some of them are exuberant. Um, yeah, if people want to dance, I'm always uh, up for that. I'm used to it. The, I mean, it's how many years ago was a Jersey Boys and people were dancing in the aisles. So I'm used to people disrupting performances with the enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> um, were there any of uh, Frankie's songs that you absolutely loved that you didn't get to sing on the show or the movie that you, you know, maybe sing at home in the shower? There's a song that Bob Gaudio wrote um, called The Sun Ain't Gonna Shine Anymore, and it's a fantastic song. It's a great record by, uh, the, by Frankie, and it was in the original script that, of Jersey Boys when we first sat down to read it around the table, but the... the the authors had put it in, and the director didn't think it fit, but they put it back in for our first read-through, and it's, it didn't make the cut. So that's a song that I could see myself singing sometime, but there's so many other great songs that I've been you know, singing for the last several years that haven't gotten to that one yet. <laughs> so is it, is it very hard for you to put together you know, either an album or a show? Because you know, the options are endless, apparently. Um, it's not hard, it's, it's hard to choose which songs you want to do, um, of, you know, actually, there are, uh, the kind of songs I like to sing have to have a real good emotional thrust to them, and, and ideally a story, and so, um, sometimes that's hard to find, but, uh, but these songs that I'm doing this time around w were very carefully chosen for the album, it just, and, Every single one of them is a winner in my in my opinion. So we ha and we had 30 years of music to choose from. So I'm really excited to do this live. So I would be very happy if you invited our viewers to come see you, but do it in Spanish because it's awesome. <laughs> okay, please come and see us at 54 Below. We're here April 25th through May 6th. Um, por favor, ven a vernos aquí en. 54 below. Estamos aquí desde el 25 de abril hasta el 6 de mayo. Ok, está, estaba bien dicho. Gracias, gracias Juan. Bye bye. bye.